What's up everybody, it's your boy Alan Wade and today we're going to be unboxing the Gen 2 hat hoop let the cat out of the bag early in the video um, normally I like to do these unboxings and just let you see what's inside but you already know what's inside now it's a Gen 2 hat hoop um, I'm gonna show you guys what it is and I'm gonna I'm not gonna demonstrate it fully because I don't have my MT-1501 with me right now but let's just open a box alright so. wait a minute just like that boom 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 Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom. Wait a minute, just like that. Hey, Doug, you ready? Wait a minute. Get in all this. Guys, if you like this video, if you like anything that I'm talking about in this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're watching on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel if you're watching on Facebook. And go ahead and give me a follow if you are on Instagram if you want to see more stuff like this because. If you don't, then I'll never know if you like stuff like this and if I should continue making stuff like this, guys. All right, so this is what's going to be in the box if you purchase your Gen 2 hat hoop. All right. Use my Recoma Shop affiliate link down in the description below this video if you're interested in purchasing a Gen 2 for yourself or any of the other uh, embroidery attachment attachments that are good for the MT-1501. Use the Rakoma shop link to purchase any of the accessories and use the Rakoma link, general link, if you're interested in purchasing a uh, embroidery machine, all right? All right, so we got this contraption right here. Interesting. Then we got this right here. Then we got this pamphlet right here, all right? And that is, oh, we got more. Okay, something was wrapped up in here. See, I almost missed that, all right? Nothing in that, nothing in that. We're done with that stuff right there. And almost missed the other part, which is the cap driver, the main cap driver. All right, just throw that off to the side like that. Throw it, throw it away like we just don't care about it. All right, so you got the pamphlet, the Hoop Tech Products pamphlet. All right, this tells you all the different stuff that Hoop Tech has available. Oh, look at this. It's a bunch of different things that, you know what, we're going to have to take a look at this on a later date. This got a lot of stuff that I didn't know about. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to take a look at that. But right now, uh, let me see what else we got in here. All right, cap backing, give you some sample cap backing along with some information if you want to buy some more backing. But this right here is what we are talking about. This is what it's all about. So... All right, what is this? This looks like some Albert Einstein type of freaky type of experiment type of thing, right? Yes, it does, guys. But and this thing is heavy. I ha I think this is about this is about a good 12 pounds, a little bit more than that, maybe like 15 pounds. This is heavy, heavier than I thought it was gonna be. And this is light. All right, so I don't fully know how to use it, but let me see right here if I can figure it out. So I would say flick that and unhook it from that and that should open this up you put your cap right here you close it up and you flick it back closed shut like that and you put it at it, attach it to your machine and then you are cooking on gas right here so the reason why I bought this was to be able to embroider closer to the brim on hats and to hoop a lot easier I think I pretty much mastered the art of hooping with the regular hoop, but now it's time to push the boundaries, and that's the reason why I got this. And look, the best part about this, look, made in the USA. Got a nice made in the USA sticker right there on it. And this contraption right here is the attachment for it that lets you attach to the table. So this would be your table, like the edge of the table right here. So you attach it like this, then you screw this up, and that holds this part right here holds onto the table and then you can go ahead and this just drops in like so uh, don't know how it goes yet because I never use it but something like that I think it just sits on there somehow yeah I gotta figure this out guys um, it just sits on there some type of way I don't know haven't figured out. Seen it done on videos, but I don't know how to do it myself yet. Okay, what about like that? Huh? Yeah, yeah. I think that. Nope, nope, not quite. 
I'll figure it out and we'll do a full video on it. I think it's like this. I'm not sure, but then you go like this. Put the hat in there. Don't have it attached right. Oh, wait. So it just sits right here in these two grooves right here. I think that's how it goes. Yeah. So then boom. Stabilizer. Cap. Lock that. Something like that. This, like guys, as I'm looking at this stuff, right, this stuff is not that complicated. Guys, you're only one invention away from being a millionaire, guys. And that this is the more I get these types of equipment, the more I realize that they're not that complex. And that gives me a lot of encouragement because it helps me realize like I can make something like this. I can make something like this, and this could like be the turning point in my life. And I have a few good ideas that I think that I can um, implement, and I think we can make something happen, guys. Not with this um, stuff in particular, like, but with other things. Got a few Jeep things that I want to make that I think would people would really find useful. So anyway, I'm going off on you know a tangent with that, but I think we lock this in like this. Yeah, there you go. You sit, you sit it on there like that. Boom. Nice and easy. And that sits down nice and flush. Open this up like this. Put your stabilizer on there. Put your hat on there. Um, when you put your hat on there, you, the back of the hat goes in here. And you pull this down to make the top smooth. Then you go like this. Pull, it, pull this down. Lock in the clip right here on the side. And you go like that. Of course, you got to make sure your hat is all you know, lay it down flat, and then you just take it out, and then when you're ready to embroider, you just take this off just like that, that easy, and you put it in your machine. So it's that easy, guys, to get going with the Gen, Gen 2, I think this is just called the Gen 2 hat hoop, but um, I always wanted this, this is one of the more, more pricier items for your Lacoma MT1501, but... Um, if you decide that you're a hat person, if you're definitely a hat person, you're going to be doing a lot of hats on your embroidery machine, then I think it's inevitable that you're either going to get it or you should get it. Um, but if you're doing like a whole bunch of hats, like if you have like a 16 heads, it's not really practical for you to get a whole bunch of these and like several of these. I, I mean, you could, but it'll end up being very, very expensive. But... Um, I'm going to use it, I'm going to see how close I can get to embroider to the brim of the hat because that's the point of this, embroidering really really close to the brim and easy to hoop um, stuff, so uh, I mean we'll see. By now I think I have every single attachment for my embroidery machine, I got a whole slew of mighty hoops, I got the belt hoop, I got the I got three Aiden ones actually. Um, yeah, I got three Aiden ones. Um, what else do I have? I got the robot frame. I got pretty much every attachment that you can need for the embroidery machine. So now it's kind of time to kick things up a notch, guys, with the MT-1501 and the EM-1010. So we're going to be doing a whole lot more embroidery designs on the channel, along with something special that's coming up. And I know I told you guys something special is coming up. But, um... Shipping is all messed up with stuff, so just be patient with me. Um, just be patient with I'm being patient with the companies, and because shipping is all messed up for everybody all over the world for everything, supply shortages and everything. But something's coming up, so stay tuned for that. And guys, uh, just know that it's time to kick things up a notch, and we're gonna shift some things a little bit. We're gonna talk more about business, and I want to help you guys and give you guys more aids to start your business as opposed to having your business already running and um, things to implement in your business. I want to help people that want the encouragement or need the encouragement and show them how they can actually start their business and tools that they would, would utilize to start their business. People of all different ages. So um, just keep in mind the content's going to shift a little bit. I'm still going to decorate garments. I'm still going to do those cameo videos where you decorate shirts and stuff like that. I'm still going to do those. I'm still going to release little small um, files for the uh, brother machine. I'm still going to embroider on a brother machine, but we're going to implement some business videos too because I think it's very, very important. Because trying to legitimize my um, my um, business, my LLC, was a headache. 
and these resources, more of these resources need to be available for people like you that um, want to start businesses and want to do start their businesses the right way. If I would have had resources available to me, for me, it wouldn't have took me this long to like fully legitimize my business. And by fully legitimizing my business, I mean by, you know, separating bank accounts, um, getting, uh, getting, a uh, you know the, the the proper documentation with the states and applying for applying for the right licenses, um, adjusting my payroll, um, uh, applying uh, filing to do business in my town, filing to do business with the state, having the state take out the right taxes. So at the end of the year, you don't have to. It's a whole lot that is complicated, and it's so complicated in fact that most people just end up not doing it and just um, having kind of like an under the table business. And I think it's way more beneficial to be on the books because you're exposed and you can grow your business. You can't grow your business but so much if you're doing your business under the table and if you're not running your business the right way. So running your business the right way is extremely important, you know, especially if you want to be an entrepreneur because it opens up so many doors for you like being able to buy things in the business name and stuff like that and having as a business owner, right now, I feel really powerful because you kind of have two social security numbers. You got your business's EIN number, and once that's established, you can buy things under your business name and not ha and that's not attached to your personal credit. And that within itself is just valuable as heck right now. So we're going to switch a little bit and do some of those videos. But this is just a Gen 2 unboxing, guys. My latest contraption. This is going to help me um, do some designs on the MT-1501 that... Um, um, and help me not hit the needle sometimes when I'm trying different things and I'll demonstrate it to you guys and I'll show you guys in later videos but quick video about to go have paint with a twist so stay tuned for some clips of paint with a twist so uh, yeah guys it's your boy Alan Lee. don't forget to like comment subscribe leave a comment down below uh, follow me on Facebook follow me on Instagram follow me on YouTube subscribe to all the outlets and don't forget to visit the merch store alanaway.com buy yourself some channel merch help support the channel and don't forget anytime you're shopping on Amazon or anytime you're shopping for any of your garment decorating needs use my heat transfer house link use my um, heat press nation link use my uh, uh, cricket link if you're into crickets use my stalls link use my Amazon link in that order okay guys so I'll talk to you guys on the next video it's your boy peace turn up that crank it up why listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby?